Dave Jones from Manila. I recovered that Hornsby engine from Summerton about probably over 20 years ago now. Um, it come from a plot foot property called Lottery Vale. Uh, belonged to Ian Chaffee. Uh, it was put in what they called their new wool shed in 1918, but I believe it's a 1912 model. They bought it second hand and put it in the wool shed. The transport and shafts for it are still in the wool shed with a list of juniors sitting on it, but they wanted to keep that. Um, basically, it had been laying under a tree for years. We'd have been dragged out to run a saw bench or something, and a lot of parts taken off. He had wandered around the farm, took him about a week to find everything. He knew where all the bits were laying under other trees and gave it to me and I brought it home and pretty well other than the valve grind, that's about all we've had to do to the old girl. Cleaned her up and she's been cooking away ever since. It's uh, about three horsepower. Yeah, it's a three horsepower that was running a two-stand shed. Uh, it'd be a two-stand shed plus a horsepower for the grinder. Famous, I believe, come out of a wool shed, and I just can't remember the name of it, but it was in a wool shed belonging to a, um, a fellow named Cooper, and it's, it was used there up until probably the late 50s where they'd pull it out and put a lister or a more modern engine into the shed. I recovered it from out on Horse Creek, and it finished up at a heap of, at another place out there laying it in the grass, and again we brought it home, giving it a valve grind. Cleaned up the magneto. It was under. It was always been kept covered. Uh, it's been going ever since. Um, other than that, I don't know a great lot more about it. It's only a three horsepower. I think it's about 1910, something like that. 1915. Well, both fairly old engines for, for the era. Um, it would have had a. Um, I think they had a Webster magneto on them with a uh, points in the head, and then they, that was that conversion was done by. Mr. Cooper put that magneto on in, a, in the, just after the war years, I believe. Well, I'm Aaron Knox and Matt Mulligan here. We co-own a Super Simplex, which was made in New Zealand in about 1910. Three and a half horsepower. They were built for running dairies in New Zealand and then Simplex in Australia brought them in and decided to rebadge them which they later superseded and brought them out as Andersons. Um, we've had it about five years roughly, picked it up from Orange in New South Wales where it lived. Used to always be in a family dairy until late I think 1980 when they stopped using it where it got sat outside. Had to rebore it, new valves, new piston, rings, got the magneto repaired. Um, made a transporter in your cooling tank and that's about it. It's been going ever since. Been at the National Rally, few shows in between and never given a drama since. One of about five known in Australia, one of two with the original mag drive still working as it sits. The Old Machinery Magazine. Remember to subscribe and tap the bell to be notified of any new videos.